Right, Danica, the time's 10.42. You're under arrest on suspicion of blackmail and... Danica Stewart's arrest in October 2022, captured on police body cam. She believes this happened because she'd complained about the police. Today, Danica is taking me back to where she was arrested. Her story began when she reported an alleged sexual crime committed against a young person, but complained to the police watchdog that it wasn't being properly investigated. She told them she'd recorded a police officer admitting failures. Three months later, she was told police wanted to speak to her. So came here to Pendleton Police Station in Manchester. And these old coppers stood here and they've arrested me and put me in a van which was here. In custody, she was told the man she'd accused of a sex crime had accused her of blackmail. Then, inside a police cell, she was told to strip naked. So I took my tracksuit bottoms off, which I knew they were going to take away from me anyway, and I've took my leggings off, and then I've took my knickers off, so I'm just sat there naked. So why do you think they stripped her, do you? It's power, because when I left the police station that day, the, the sergeant on the desk said to me, you need to drop all your complaints against the police. They needed to show me who was boss. Danica's testimony will now form part of a wider review into the treatment of women in police custody, commissioned by Manchester's mayor in the wake of a Sky News investigation last year into claims of unwarranted strip searches. And we understand that when published, that review will strongly criticise the police complaint system. Danica filed another complaint, this time about her strip search. An internal police investigation claimed she hadn't been strip searched. She asked Greater Manchester Authority to review this and they found the internal investigator hadn't actually watched the CCTV of her time in custody. Danica repeatedly applied for her right to be given the footage and was eventually told it had been corrupted. Danica became a target of that police force. She was seen as trouble. She was seen as a threat to Greater Manchester Police. And what they did, they decided they were going to go and lock her up. And just like in the post office, it is about concealing what is going on. It is um, trying to protect the reputation of an organisation that is a very powerful public body. Danica says the problem is that the complaint system through the independent watchdog website go directly to the force themselves, in one instance to the officer she was complaining about. If there was actually robust and fit for purpose complaint system, the police wouldn't have known about the complaints that I was placing. Them complaints should have been investigated by an independent body. In response, Greater Manchester Police said they're driven to fight, prevent and reduce crime to keep people safe and care for victims. Where we're not successful, we admit our failings and we work transparently within governance and regulatory arrangements to redress what has gone wrong. Miss Stewart's complaints continue to be reviewed by Dame Vera Baird and the Professional Standards Directorate. Until these reviews have concluded and reported their findings to Miss Stewart, it wouldn't be right for the force to comment publicly. The force says they provided Miss Stewart with information to some of her allegations and she's welcome to contact professional standards for updates. I feel like they're going to be after me forever if I don't leave Manchester. I'm scared that the, what the police are going to do next. She has not only lost faith in the police, she sees them as the enemy.